It amazes me how these niggas got conversations. Everybody wanna gossip. The world would be fine if people concentrate on theirs and stop worrying about mine. Perpetrate gossipers, troublemakers, backstabbing individuals and instigators. All across the nation, conversations taking over the nation. From talk shows down to the radio station. You hear it all the time, lies, gossip, and rumors get spread it around. Whether it's friends or family that said it, who said it don't matter now. See, I shit's easily twisted. Whether you're banging, locked up, or you're rocked up and addicted to cocaine, though no name speak what they done told to your face. Why face to face now? Say what you know. You to the third- Welcome to the planet, the podcast for L Word fans. I'm Elka, and I'm Casey. Well, here we are on a Sunday afternoon <laughs> with nothing to talk about, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Because you have a stomach ache. We went to a party last night, and I'm, I think I'm feeling a little bit <laughs> worn out. So yeah, we had kind of a huh, weird weekend. Forget about the weekend. I want to know how your Spanish final went. Oh, it went fine. I got the highest grade in the class, as of usual. Course. Miss Smarty Pants. I got the highest grade in the class and the highest grade on the final. Which was shocking, because I really didn't try too hard at the final. And so that's how it went. But actually, it's like Spanish for retard. So, of course, I got the highest grade. Because <laughs> you're the best retard? Yes. I'm the best Spanish retard. <laughs> so how did things go with your teacher? What did she wear? It went <laughs> fine. She wore, actually, really out of character clothing for her. What does that mean? <laughs> that she was wearing clothing? No, she, um, well, yes, she was wearing clothing. She was wearing overalls. Jean overalls, which um, if you know me at all, which obviously none of these people do, but that's like the worst turn off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, did we not make fun of Carmen mercilessly for wearing? Right. So she was wearing jean overalls and um, a white and red ringer shirt, and she wore a red visor. What do you mean a red visor? Like a Like a hat? Yeah, you know, like a sun visor, like a... A baseball hat without the top. <laughs> you don't know what a to visor. To class, I'm just. I know what it is, but I almost thought I misheard you just because, like, it's weird. Wait, she wore overalls and oh, and um, red and it. black flip flops. And you've her really memorized it. Well, I sat right in front of her. The toenails were painted red, so she's color coding. She had on very little makeup, other than mascara and red lipstick to match her red bones i don't know that was it why are you telling me this you asked me what she was wearing well i mean i thought there was more to the story than a detailed description of her outfit okay well here's what happened so we go in on a saturday to take the final and um it's all of her classes together so it's a bunch of people for some reason everybody sat in the back of the class but i so they could cheat probably i don't know I was one of the first people to walk into the class, and so I sat up front because I wanted to be right by the door so I could get the hell out of there. But also because it was about um 100 degrees in there. It was steaming hot. It was so hot in there that my hands were like sticking to the paper, and people were sweating, and it was starting to get stinky in there, and it was really Ew. gross. And so I'm sitting near her, like eight, ten feet away from her, and she's got nothing to do. So she's listening to music or something, and um, she's eyeing everybody, and she actually caught some people cheating, which I don't think that's ever happened to me. Have you ever been in a class where someone was actually caught cheating since, like, yeah, junior high? Yeah, really? Kent. Wow. <laughs> okay. I think that was a first for me. Wow, this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I thought there was going to be something more to this. Well, I mean, the last time you told me about the Spanish teacher, (laughs) I was practically... I know. I guess I should have said that this isn't really that exciting of a story, but it might bring some closure to the whole thing. It did for me. Wait, I know what you're going to say. She doesn't shave her armpits. Ew. I don't know. I haven't seen her armpits, but no, she's very well groomed. Okay, so I'm taking the test. It's 100 degrees. Everybody's sweating. It's starting to get like... We're going to lose all our European listeners now. (laughs) It's starting to get humid in there. She starts walking back and forth, I and people and whatever. And then finally she goes up to the front and sits down. And like, I'm in the very front and I didn't realize that there were doors in the back and the front of the room. When I walked into the room, I walked in the front door. So I sat right in the front so that I was, could get out. I'm taking the test and I'm not paying attention to what's going on around me. Obviously, it's final. And I take forever to take tests. I'm usually the last person out of there. The class is beyond over, you know, 
the teachers tapping their watch or whatever because I just go over everything and, and then I go over it again and then I go over it again. So And the, like there were some essays <laughs> and she comes over and she's like, just write anything. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Just write anything there. <laughs> and then I, I whisper, oh, okay. Because I think, you know, the room's full of students. There's nobody in there. There's one like 50-year-old dude who's one of those old students <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and me. So I finished taking the test and she's sitting up there. And she at this point, she's sitting on top of the desk with her legs crossed. And um, I'm walking up to her and she's looking at me really weird. <laughs> And she just starts, like, she goes from a totally straight face to a big grin. <laughs> then she complimented me on my Spanish, which is hilarious. I don't know Spanish at all. Then and she, then she goes, adios, amiga. No worse. What? <laughs> She's, like, sitting on the desk, and she raises her hand up with her iPod in it with our logo on it. Oh, I don't believe you. I knew you wouldn't. <laughs> It wasn't her iPod, and she's not the one that discovered it, but somebody else in the Spanish department did. And um, I don't believe they you. All, they I don't all. believe you. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Are you fucking with me? No! <laughs> <laughs> you are such a liar. What? You are so lying right no, now. No, I'm not lying. <laughs> But it what? is amazing. Wait, look in my eyes. Are you tell? Are you lying? <laughs> no. <laughs> and you're just now telling me this. I wanted to save it for the podcast, and it's not I that big. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> and like the whole Spanish department was listening. Because okay, I guess if you Google Albuquerque, or not Google, but like on, on iTunes, iTunes, we come up first if you search Albuquerque. Right, and so so somebody in the Spanish department listened to it. And I guess we talked about it before. She said that it was on a couple of different shows. Well, yeah, just because you said your Spanish teacher looks like Carmen. And- oh, okay, right. I guess it went around for a while, and she was one of the last people to find out about it. Because I was like, how long have you been listening to this? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, I, I listened to the one about me not wearing a bra yesterday. <laughs> That's what she said? Yes. And she thought it was hilarious. And then I guess when she heard some of them, she's like, I know who that is. That's one of my students. Because she, she recognized, recognized your- Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, we do this thing. We just sit around our living room and we get emails, but they're just emails. Like, sometimes you don't connect it to a real person. But I mm-hmm. feel really weird that people around here are listening <laughs> to us. I mean, I totally, I just feel like it's going off into the ether and it's not. Well, yeah, that's the only person I've met who's heard our podcast yeah, other than who people you told we're this related whole to. Bro- okay. You know, I wanted to ask her, did you not wear a bra? But of course I was purple at this point. So now I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> that she didn't ask you out for drinks? <laughs> she didn't mention anything about that or, you know, she could, that would have been an opportune moment to be like to I embarrass like herself too. further because she knows we're gonna talk about it <laughs> and she has a boyfriend yeah she's, and you have a girlfriend yes supposedly obviously i wasn't gonna do anything with her and she wasn't gonna do anything with me it was just like this flirtation thing i think she did it on purpose now i was gonna email her like okay now that the whole class is over you had already listened to some podcasts where we mentioned you now what was up with that shirt <laughs> But I think that it should just be left. Yeah, I, I think it should never be mentioned again if <laughs> yeah. you don't have any decency. <laughs> exactly. Okay, wait. First, you're lucky that she's not mad. But I think that that last day where she was all like barely dressed, <laughs> I think she did on purpose now. Don't because you? Because she knew you would talk about it? Well, not necessarily talk about it, but because she knew I was like, What's going on with this lady? I mean, I guess I just never think about anyone hearing this. I don't know. It's just weird because we're just sitting around the house. Oh, my God. I don't know. I feel really. And what sucks is she was a really good teacher. And I was going to ask her, like, are you going to be teaching the next? <laughs> class? Like, But obviously, I'm not going to do that now. Well, she's really nice and smart and has a good sense of humor. I think I've mentioned this before. Yeah. She's very personable and I like her. But, You've only um, just objectified her totally. in front of a bunch of dykes. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Whatever. She's asking for it. She has no business looking <laughs> like that. She's too cute to be a teacher. She is adorable. So that's the um, 
That's the end, because I don't think I'll ever see her again, because it's a huge university, and I'm obviously not going to take a class with her in it, because, which really does suck, because she's a really good teacher. And she's young and beautiful, so it'd be nice to be able to look at that instead of some old hag all day. <laughs> wow. Um, but also, I can't believe that you are just now telling me this story. The reasons why I believe you is that if you do search Albuquerque on iTunes, it's like us and then a church. Yeah. There's nothing. And of course, when I first started listening to podcasts, I searched Albuquerque. You did? Yeah. And so I would probably listen to the mo- the first hit. Well, unless one of the I, people's A I just, in the department. Uh, we don't get any emails from Albuquerque. Mm-mm. Like I had started thinking that we're just like in some sort of technological wasteland. Well, we are. Where we'll get emails from people that live in Antarctica, but nobody around here <laughs> listens. Oh, so it was so hot in there that we're both just all sweaty and bleh. It was like I came home and immediately took a shower because she was all sweaty and I was all sweaty. And then I was like embarrassed and sweaty <laughs> and red. And I must have looked like a big tomato or something. <laughs> My whole head was just like eh. embarrassed, hot, sweaty and red. I just want to say, normally I might have been a little bit suave, but I was already like, I gotta get out of here. And then I was put on the spot. I just want to say that it's all in fun. What? I hope that she's not mad. She's not mad at all. She, I think she was flattered. <laughs> Once again, you've completely destroyed any semblance of a coherent It wasn't exciting at all. I could have. It was just something that happened in the 22nd period of my life, and then I went home. I mean, that's it. That's the end. I'm kind of sad that this little drama, this very Seinfeld-like drama, is over. Because it was such a good little thing. I love when little, weird, interesting things happen like that. You know what I mean? And now it's over. A somber moment. Let's have our uh, Matchley-esque moment. (laughs) What's that? Remember they had their moment to meditate on Carmen? (laughs) We're going to have our moment right now. I was like, why are you taking your wine glass up to your... <laughs> we don't usually drink wine. I mean, we, we see, drink... we cannot have a moment of silence for even five seconds. <laughs> oh. I, I thought you we were We don't kidding. need to. That's that's just our way. <laughs> it's weird that we're drinking wine. I just realized... Well, we drink wine all the time, but not usually during the podcast. So on to new, <laughs> new things. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> chick. It's a hottie walking down the street. There isn't. Well, you can't see her now. She walked past the window. All I see is an actual bird. Oh, did you see that dog? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's have a podcast, and all we'll do is talk about what we can see out our front window. <laughs> oh my god, there goes a, some trash flying down the. <laughs> okay, so this just goes to show that the L word should have more than twelve episodes a year, because mm-hmm. when we stop talking about the L word, we get in trouble. <laughs> when we start talking about. Things like the closet or the closet. your Spanish oh. teacher. We just <laughs> we get off topic. So tell me what's going on with you. I'm really busy right now with my work and I am tell really Tell me about into your it. like emotions and your feelings towards my I feel right now a little bit embarrassed about oh, the Spanish teacher. I'm thing, over it. And I, feel I a little felt bit that guilty. all week. Don't. She thought it was hilarious. Okay. She no. was flattered, I think. <laughs> I mean she didn't say that, but Oh my gosh. I do well, think if she, she knows who Carmen is, then yeah, she shouldn't be flattered. Yeah, we all went out for drinks and whatever and talked. But if I were just a little bit closer to her, like the kind of person where you just call him up on the phone and be like, hey, you want to go out tonight? I would ask her all a million questions. <laughs> like but, what? Like, do you know who Carmen is? Have you ever seen the L word? Have you ever thought about being gay? How about right now? How about now? <laughs> no, like. <laughs> <laughs> what was with that shirt? <laughs> Yeah. (laughs) I knew that you had something to say about your Spanish teacher, Mm -hmm. but I had no idea what you were actually going to say. Really? I'm so glad that this happened to you and not me. Why? Because I would not be able to take it. I would lose my mind. Well, if that happened to you, you wouldn't even think to mention it. You'd be like, yeah, whatever, the lady didn't wear a bra. You would forget to mention it on the podcast, even though it was crazy. (laughs) That's why I always ask you, like, well, what's going on? Because you overlook these things. I know some shit has happened, and you're just like, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just a penis on a flagpole. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. <laughs> what? No, I'm kidding. 
Well, you know, I spent all day, I, especially over the last week, I've spent every day hunched over a microscope. It doesn't make for a lot of good stories. Since we go visit our families together, I think that and a few other things have caused a little bit of speculation on the blogs and on the forum. People are that starting were sisters? To... <laughs> yes. Well, what sort of speculation then? People are wondering if you and I are actually a couple. And they, they have their reasons for this, and I'm not going to get into it. But I just thought that, you know, right now, <laughs> you and I should just answer it definitively once and for all. Are Casey and Elka a couple? And we're going to give you your answer on the count of three. One, two, three. No. Yes! Okay, now that that's taken care of. Okay, well, let me tell you about some mail I received. Was it from Daddy of Two? Um, No, regular mail. A couple of weeks ago, I took one of my cars in to get an estimate on a paint job. So one of the places where I went sent me this postcard in the mail. Normally, you know, if you visit a place where you're going to shell out a big chunk of money and then you don't follow up with a purchase, they'll send you a postcard like, you know, thanks for stopping by. Please visit us again or whatever. This is... <laughs> I'm going to read you the postcard from the paint shop, a car body shop. Okay. The postcard, it's pink and green with a picture of a beautiful waterfall on the front. Sounds pretty normal so far. Okay. Here's the postcard. You paid us a visit a couple of days ago and chose not to leave your vehicle. Perhaps the timing wasn't right or you weren't sure what color to choose. We know that you want to paint your car truck or suv and we wish you were here with us sounds pretty normal so far we wish you were here with us you don't stay with your cars it's, it's not like you're taking the car to the hospital for brain surgery i think you you're overthinking this okay a little bit. well wait it sounds totally normal there's more okay next part says imagine taking a trip in your newly painted car your children yell stop you've been too busy watching the road to enjoy the view off to the right, your children have discovered a magical window to paradise. You step out of the car and listen to melted snow as it cascades 50 feet into a chilled pool of water. The rocky cliffs glisten with spray and every imaginable shade of green lines the pool. Sunlight manages to find its way through the trees just long enough to shine a beam of gold onto the gurgling waters. A dragonfly hovers into view and basks in the warm spotlight. As you turn back to your car, you notice the reflection of the waterfall on your new paint job. And it makes you smile. <laughs> we want to paint your vehicle. Please don't hesitate to call us. <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone <laughs> at the paint shop. Has a little bit too much time on their hands. <laughs> this is what you can get with a PhD in creative <laughs> writing. Um, okay, wait. The beautiful snow melt <laughs> waterfall reflects in your shiny new paint job of your SUV while your children frolic. Isn't that awesome? And That's so, really intense for a paint shop. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I took the car in because I was impressed by this. And I was like, this is where I'm going to go. No, I, <laughs> I had just delayed it because I was busy with work and whatever. Well, I took the car in to drop it off. I was like, what's up with these postcards? <laughs> you actually brought the postcard to the guy and you're like, what the fuck? Yes, I did. I brought it in. And I was like, what's up with this postcard? Because he signed it and I know the guy because I've been there before. Uh -huh. <laughs> in a new car every six months. And so, um, well, no, I wreck the car every six yeah. months. <laughs> I'm sorry. Allow me to clarify. <laughs> He was like, I never actually read it before. And then he read it and he was like, oh my God, what's up with <laughs> our marketing team? So this guy is sending out postcards. He doesn't even know what it says. <laughs> and they have like four different versions and he gave me one of each. There's like a desert, <laughs> a waterfall, a coyote. I don't know. It's so peaceful. Will you read that to me tonight before I go to bed? <laughs> no. Just think of your car glistening in the sun. <sighs> That's beautiful. I feel so calm now. That was the exciting point of my week. I'm so serene.
I feel a little, I feel younger than I am today, this weekend. Did you pee your pants? <laughs> I peed the bed. No, normally, work all the time, and maybe on the weekend or whatever, on wine night, we'll go out with some people and maybe get a little tipsy. We'll get what a- are you talking about? Every <clears throat> time we go out with certain friends of ours. <laughs> Remember that night we were doing sake bombers? Okay, yeah, that was a yeah. birthday. But Aww. normally, okay, fine, we're total luscious. But usually we'll go out for like a night and then go home, drink a gallon of water, go to bed, and we're fine. Wait, together or separately? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Just checking. But lately, I don't even know what's going on with you. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Well, I went through a period of maybe six months where I was like, you'd be like, you want a beer? And I'd be like, nah. For like six months. I didn't want any wine. I didn't want any beer. I didn't want any sake. I didn't want any vodka. Nothing. More for me. (laughs) And so you'd just sit here like some old woman. (laughs) Okay, this is complete bullshit. I usually drink when I'm out with my friends. I don't like sit alone at home drinking. This is horrible. I'm not like who's afraid of Virginia Woolf here. (laughs) I want my bourbon. Old Swampy here. Nobody's seen that movie but us. I have no idea what we're talking about. We gotta stop talking about our favorite obscure movies, though. Okay, so anyway, Friday we stayed up late, drinking. Drank till dawn. And then you're like, oh, let's go to this graduation party. And I was like, okay, I'm a little tipsy still from last night, (laughs) but we'll go. We went out and got some pie or something, and then we went to the party. (laughs) Where We're big fans of pie. You show up. Yeah. And you're like... I'm still hungover. I'm just going to have some water. So you drink, you get this plastic red cup. I think you filled it like halfway with water. And so I go over directly to the wine. I drank like two glasses of wine really fast because it was a boring party. It was some, uh, <laughs> you needed to drink a few for the crowd. Yeah. You took like two sips out of yours and then you, <laughs> I saw you beeline for the wine. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I've been drunk for like a week. Me too. <laughs> and I don't want to stop. I'm well, supposed to go to work tomorrow. I don't have to. I could just I hate drink. your job. You, I hate <laughs> your life. You just do whatever you want to do. I know. It's awesome. <sighs> I guess you guys didn't know that Casey is an heiress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, Bullshit. More like, more I work like for everything I make. <laughs> You're more like Marina. Marina? In what way? Wasn't she a countess or something? I'm not a anything s. I'm a bitch s. <laughs> a bitch s. <laughs> That's like a girl bitch. How long do you think it's gonna take us to drive to Ohio? Like two days. So you're not gonna do any of the driving again do I ever? Fucking pussy. <laughs> I do the music channel changing. I and- hate that shit. That's why we have Sirius. So you don't I know, have like, to. I flip the Sirius stations for you. That's my job. You drive. I don't want to drive. I uh, lean back and give the dog a drink of water every once in a while. <clears throat> I roll down the windows, and I roll the windows up, and then I roll them down, and then I roll them up. This so, is so these are my boring. Rolls. We, we got to stop. Okay. Like, totally stop? Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I know. From the beginning to the end, we're going to do the whole thing again tomorrow. Erase it all. The whole thing. All right. The planet, take two. This is the more sober version, but not completely sober. I got my uh, white Texan. What's a white Texan other than everybody that lives in Texas? It's the Tito's vodka version of a white Russian. We went to the liquor store. So I don't know. You were going to pick up the usual, like, absolute or something. And the guy's like, get Tito's, the guy that works there. And the guys that work at this particular liquor store sample every new thing that comes in. Like, they obviously drink a lot. And (laughs) they actually have pretty good taste. Like, I've asked their opinion on different beers, and they've been pretty accurate. In any case, so we're like, Tito's Vodka Made in Texas. Okay, well, we'll try it. So we got it, and then we came home, and you just... (laughs) You didn't even take your shoes off. You just unscrewed the top. And, like, you're like, I better try this. (laughs) Right away, (laughs) before it goes bad. (laughs) So I mean, it was a new thing. I had to test it. Before the door was shut, you were in the kitchen like with shot glass. But anyway. Well, it's not my fault that you're pokey. (laughs) 
So you took a shot of it, and you're like, hey, that's pretty good. And then, I don't think you <laughs> know that I saw this, but then you licked the glass. <laughs> well, yeah. You licked the glass. The shot glass. For like a minute. Oh, come on. Not like a minute. I just got the little drop off of it so it wouldn't mm. drip on the floor. <laughs> you looked kind of like Meg Ryan in that one movie. Anyway, so that's Tito's. So it's two thumbs up? Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, I wouldn't expect vodka from Texas to be so good. So here's yet another of the few things that Texas has produced that I truly enjoy. Okay. Um, You're not going to ask me what the other thing is? I know what the other things are. Okay. Four boobies from Texas. (laughs) That's not all we appreciate about them, but it certainly helps. Uh, um, I wanted to tell you, like, how good my taste in alcohol is. I'm not really like a wine snob or anything like that, but I certainly enjoy red wine, not Merlot. <laughs> I don't buy the four ninety nine wine from Piggly Wiggly. And so I took this trip to Australia a couple of years ago, and there's a big group of people, and we were staying at this really remote research station, and the groceries are delivered like once a week or once every two weeks on a barge. Mm-hmm. So we had to, in the States, we had to order all our food ahead of time for the time we were going to spend on this island. And there's like a checklist and we're looking at it and we're like, I don't know what this Australian stuff is. Like they had beer. We didn't know. But then I saw something on the list that I recognized. I'm like, hey, Yolomba Syrah. I love that. It's one of my favorite wines. I get it at the import store in Albuquerque. It's really good. You guys are going to love it. So I order the Yolomba. I'm all excited because I've like made this choice for our team and it's going to be good and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So a month later, we show up at the island. We start unpacking our groceries. It was in a box, wasn't it? In Australia, Yolomba is not an expensive, fancy, wow. imported wine like it is in Albuquerque. <laughs> in Australia, it comes in a fucking cardboard box. Oh my god, I thought you, I was being no, sarcastic. I thought you were going to say it came in a screw top. <laughs> it was in a fucking cardboard box. The people I was traveling with are looking at me like, are you fucking kidding us? <laughs> Did you told it taste us the same? Good. I don't know. I just, I could never resign myself to drinking out of a box and no one else would even drink it. I'm like, no, guys, it's good, really. Oh, how funny. So that's how good my tastes are. Well, I took a wine tasting class when I was in college and it was an awesome class. You just sat there with your wines, rolled around, just tasted wine for like two hours. You weren't allowed to drive to the class and all this stuff. You and your liberal arts college. <laughs> It was a really good class. At the time, the professor said, right now, you cannot buy a decent wine with a screw top. But within two or three years, they're going to change everything. It's all going to be screw top in two or three years. This was a long time ago. (laughs) (laughs) This was like six years ago then. We have pretty much been like, if it's got a screw top, we're not going to drink this shit, right? Yeah, but that is changing. You're right. It's. I think it's changing right now because when I went to the store, <laughs> this is, sounds bad. We went to the liquor store today, <laughs> and then yesterday I went to the store and bought three bottles of wine. Well, it's not like we drank it all. We're stocking we up for the half summer. Of it. Okay. I mean, oh we're gonna yeah. Be enter- <laughs> we're going to be invited to dinner parties. We need to bring a bottle of wine, or if we entertain, if okay. our friends stop by. Are you just saying this in case your mom's listening? <laughs> No, we always bring a bottle of wine when we're invited somewhere because it's easier than cooking. (laughs) My point is a lot of the wine that we bought last year, the vineyards who had corks now have screw tops. Well, for all we know, this gets into a whole other tangent, but for all we know, the rest of the country has had screw tops for three years. (laughs) This is No, I mean, it's all direct distributor, but yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, Mexico's a pit. (laughs) When we first moved to New Mexico, we were looking around out the car window with our jaws dropped like these people have no idea what clothes to wear and what shoes to wear and how Mm. to style their hair. (laughs) I mean, we were shocked. We're like, oh, my God, it's like a time machine. It's like Encino Man. Everybody's dressed from 10 years ago. I'd say five. And like for the first three years or so that we lived here. We were like, God, I can't believe how backwards these people are. They don't even know how to dress. And they're and now. And now it looks normal <laughs> to us. Which is so scary. Which means we probably have no idea what people are actually wearing <laughs> in the real world. Well, if you think about it, we've lived here for, what, six years? Right now, what's in style here, a lot of the things are the same things that were in style when we left Maine. That's true. So that means... <laughs> 
we're probably about six or seven years behind. So when we leave to go anywhere on vacation or whatever, if we ever move away from here, <laughs> we're going to be like, why are you wearing that metal pair of pants? <laughs> <laughs> What's with the aluminum foil Belt sailor buckle. hat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every time we leave town, I'm like, oh my God, I got to do some shopping. I had to go to Arizona just to get Pumas. Wow. You're making it sound really bad. It is really bad. It's pretty normal. It's just, yeah, there's not much. Well, Albuquerque's grown like crazy, so it is changing like really fast. Yeah, one change seems very, very promising. They just opened a new place in town. All they serve is it's cupcakes. Cakes. <laughs> it's a cupcake restaurant. All they serve is cupcakes. I'm like, I am home. <laughs> we went there today, but it they was were closed. closed. I am going to be there, I swear to God, like 9.01 <laughs> tomorrow morning when they open. I'm like, give me some cake. Well, what's the name of the place? Cake Fetish. Cake Fetish, that's it? Oh, mm-hmm. I thought it was House of something. Casa del Villa House. Speaking of Spanish, so obviously we live in New Mexico. There are a lot of people here who speak just English, just Spanish, or Spanglish, or broken Spanish, and mostly English. And I'm taking the Spanish because... You could pretty much use Spanish every day here. Yes, absolutely. So obviously there's a real use for um, learning Spanish. And a couple of times, you know, there have been actually several times where I was like, God, I really wish I knew Spanish right now. Mm -hmm. Today was one of those times. Oh boy. (laughs) So today, I had scheduled an appointment with our new housekeeper to meet with her to go over some things. We came upon her through a reference. I was under the impression that two people were coming to my house today. One person who I know who speaks English and the other person is, I was under the impression that she didn't speak very much English. Well, I was correct. (laughs) In fact... She said, I think, two words of English while she was here, and she came alone. (laughs) So um, she comes, and okay, so I see her alone. If somebody comes up to the door, a dog barks. So I know she's coming, and I look out, and she's walking alone. And I'm like, okay, either the other woman is already on the porch, and I can't see her yet, or this lady is alone, and I don't (laughs) know. I've had one semester of Spanish, right? (laughs) So... Then for a brief, for a passing moment, I'm like, hey, I can do this. I can converse with this person. I know how to say, hi, how are you? How's the weather? (laughs) These are the things you learn how to say. My hair is brown. Like, just like, where's the bathroom? Exactly. So (laughs) the lady knocks on the door. The dog's like, roar, 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 which he always does. What did the dog do? (laughs) He barked. How did he bark? He was like, woof. No, the dog goes completely ballistic. He says that. Never mind. I'm sorry. Keep No, go ahead. He does say woof. He says, <laughs> if, he's, <laughs> if he's really tired. If he's feeling lazy, instead of barking, he just goes woof. <laughs> just exactly like that. <laughs> just, it sounds like a, a bored person saying it. He's just like woof, woof, woof. Okay, go. <laughs> he wasn't doing that. He went ballistic as he usually does. Like of if course. the mailman comes. Or... Did you hear the word perro? <laughs> yes, but there was a more important animal name that we will discuss. You know, I try to open the door and maintain the dog and say hola, <laughs> <laughs> me llamo es Casey, and all this shit. And um, the dog's going nuts, and she looks afraid of the dog. And then she says something in Spanish. And I'm, like, flustered, and I don't know how to say he's just barking. He's completely harmless because he's uh, <laughs> he's all bark and no bite, literally. He's a big <clears throat> donut. Just when I was about to, like, try to figure out how to say this, she opens the screen door and comes in. And sh- it's fine. Okay. Once you are in contact with the dog or Once he's- he sniffs your butt, he ignores you. <laughs> right. But he barks his head off until you let him sniff your butt once. Right. I think yeah. it's just, like, he knows if you left this person in the house that it's it's cool. Yeah. So anyway, she comes in. I thought she was really afraid of the dog, but I think it just surprised her. (laughs) I'll never know for sure because we really weren't able to converse very well. So she comes in and and she starts speaking complete Spanish to me as if she thinks I know Spanish, not just habla español, nothing like that. She just starts rambling off. And I was like, 
mm, okay, I'm going to need some help here. And so anyway, she keeps talking. And so finally, I'm like, no habla espanol. And, she, and then she's like, no. Like, she's so surprised. <laughs> and then I try to say, like, just a little bit. She knows why she's here. I know why she's here. And so we're, like, doing these hand gestures. Look around. And so she starts looking around, and she just walks through the house, and, and I'm glad that she's, like, used to encountering people who don't speak Spanish. <laughs> so she goes through the house, and I kind of follow her behind her. The dog is totally trailing her. And so then she comes out, and when she goes, to, <laughs> she gets to the bathroom, <laughs> and she starts saying something in that, like, oh, la, la, la voice, and I don't know what she was saying at all, but you could tell something in the bathroom was going to be a problem. Uh-oh. And I'm like, what the fuck? There's Our bathroom is totally normal. It's clean, very clean. And so I'm like, okay. It was shit beach, wasn't it? <laughs> I didn't know. She comes out, calls on her cell phone, and she's got the answering machine to our mutual friend. We try to talk a little bit, and she starts writing things on a piece of paper. <laughs> and you have yet to see this piece of paper, so I'm going to show it to you now. <laughs> Oh no. There's only two things on it and I want Are they pictures or words? I want you to tell me what Well, they're obviously not words cuz okay. <laughs> you tell me what you think these mean. Oh no. One is like I think she scribbled it I out. I don't do windows. I can't believe you figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them looks like some pubic hair. <laughs> That's what she scribbled out. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what I see are, um, <laughs> it looks like a rectangle with a line through the middle and then a, like an X over top. And that's the one that I think means I don't do windows. That is what it means. And I could not figure out what it was. Because a window to me is like a square <laughs> with a, like a cross over oh, it. Oh, and then that, yeah. So this is like. A shade It kind of looks something. like a trash can sticking its tongue out. But immediately, because that's such a stereotype, like the housekeeper says, I don't do windows. Oh, right. But this next picture. <laughs> what? The next picture. <laughs> right. That one, I, okay, I was watching like... her draw it. And obviously the X over it is neck is the last thing she does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> the next picture. <laughs> and sh Okay. Go ahead. Is a stick <laughs> It's not a, is it a stick? It's like a stick with four legs and a tail <laughs> and two pointy ears and some whiskers on like a circle head <laughs> with, with two little, <laughs> like tears <laughs> coming out <laughs> the rear end. The rear end, grandma? <laughs> the ass of the cat. With a big X over it. <laughs> it's a, it's a cartoon. <laughs> Right. Of a cat shitting. <laughs> it is. And I, like, I'm watching her draw it, and I cannot hold back my laughter, but also I wasn't going to be able to explain why I was laughing, but she started laughing too, but not, like, busted out. But we were both like, what? And then she said something, and I was like, I don't know what she's saying. But somehow I figured out. At first, I was like, okay, she hates cats. She's allergic to cats. <laughs> but then I'm like, okay, she drew, and I don't do windows, so she doesn't do what? She doesn't clean litter boxes. Well, I would never expect her to do that. Me neither, and I wouldn't expect I would her to never. do the windows either. I mean, obviously, they're my cats. I clean the litter box. <laughs> I would. Ne I don't think there's an amount that I could pay someone... <laughs> But there's also not an amount I could pay someone that would be worth this cartoon of a cat with an X over it and poop flying out of his butt. I was waiting to show this to you today because I can't believe you knew that was a window. I, it looked, when I first looked at it, I'm like, is this a purse? Doesn't oh, it, it looks like. It looks like a purse, doesn't I'm it? I'm so glad that we have a scanner. <laughs> Oh yeah, we could show this on the on our website. <laughs> anyway, this cartoon, if this woman works out, I'm gonna frame it. It's hilarious. Oh my god. So I need to maybe take the next Spanish class. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so that I know how to say litter box. <laughs>
That was my day. Wow. Okay. I had no idea this was coming. Again, twice in two days, you have completely floored me. <laughs> well, this is just, I mean, it was a 10 minute experience. <laughs> I mean, though. I could understand like a cat with an X over it. I would get that. Or like a picture of an actual litter box. But it's a cat with poop flying out of its butt. I don't know. She tried to draw this in between. So I think she maybe was going to draw a litter box. But that's kind of hard to draw. She obviously isn't very good. <laughs> when her oh window God, looks I like a purse. I already love her. <laughs> She's really cute. She's like... A- uh, what is your... Thing? No, not like that. Oh, okay. In a motherly way. You're saying that now in case she listens to <laughs> and has someone translate. <laughs> she- <laughs> yeah, she doesn't speak a word of English. Okay. What is the word for window in Spanish? Is ventana. it Ventana? Oh, Ventana. Yeah. <laughs> Which she could have said that and I would have understood, but... but you asshole we just went to la ventana arch like two i weeks know what ago. ventana means oh. she didn't say it i think she assumed that i didn't know any spanish oh. after i didn't i looked at her like Arr! when she came in the dog probably knows more spanish than us he's lived here his whole life <laughs> <laughs> so we have some word association we're such i don't want to be I'm- copycat I listened to the J Meg cast today and i was thinking about oh i don't know what to talk about blah 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 and we'd kind of been talking about games lately anyway. We have. And everyone's been talking about games, not just us. Games? Will you just follow the, eh? along? Just keep <laughs> up. All right. So oh, I was listening hell. to JMEG, and they played Word Association. And for some reason... A, that's not a game. What is it then? It's a pastime. <laughs> it's not a game. I Nobody just wins. It's really hostile. To... Well, what is it then? What the fuck is it, bitch? <laughs> It's not a game. <laughs> it's just like, I don't even oh. know what it is. It's a pastime. Nobody wins or loses unless you want to. I'll beat your ass at word association. <laughs> okay. I well, dominate all, the sport of word association. <laughs> you're such a dyke. That you're even a jock uh, about that. You think I'm a dyke? No. God, you're so sensitive. Okay. Now that you said that, I need to clear some, I need to clear the air. <laughs> okay. Not clear the air. That's the wrong. No, but now that you said that, I do need to clear something up. Oh, boy. I've recently become alerted that I come off as sounding like a rainbow flag waving dykeaholic. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Because? It's completely not true. (laughs) Okay. That's all I needed to say. Not that there's anything wrong with that because somebody's got to go out there and do it, but it's not me. I've never even been to a pride parade. Oh, by the way, um, your freedom rings that you ordered <laughs> off of eBay came today. I Two place never... your old pair of freedom rings that wore out <laughs> from so much use. I do have an HRC sticker on my car because that's pretty much the most conservative gay thing that you can put out there. Yeah, it's not like a rainbow sticker in the shape of a cat. <laughs> So I just wanted to make, I don't know, obviously they are only judging things by our voices. And I have kind of a low, like a lot of people have asked me if I smoke and I just, I do not smoke. I don't like smoking. I have a low weird voice kind of, but I also have like a throat affliction. Which is why it takes us so long to edit the podcast. I'm going to totally blame you here for, and I'm like sniffling constantly. I know. you. Okay. So anyway. (laughs) I guess I'm a little dykey. There's nothing that we, <clears throat> either one of us owns that has a rainbow on it. You have a belt. Yeah, but it's a belt. Like, yeah. Usually my shirt It's not a it. gay belt. It's just a belt. I do have panties with rainbows on them. And they're selling on eBay right now. I'd say on the dyke scale, if it's like uh, 1 to 10, 10 being... Bill Cosby. He's not a dyke. <laughs> This is a dyke scale. Bill Cosby is 10 on every scale. Oh, no. Not okay, this one. No. We'll say um, 10 is Rosie O'Donnell. She's pretty fucking dykey. Uh, I don't think she's a 10 on the dyke scale. Who is? Oh, Max? Max isn't a dyke at all. <sighs> this is too complicated for me. Who's the dykiest of the dykes? Mm. John Goodman. <laughs> If you were a woman. Yes. Ten All is right. John Goodman <clears throat> with a pussy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So one is Portia. This is the dyke scale. Okay. So what number? I would say that you are a. Well, wait. Should we have a five? Ellen. Because she wears makeup 
And okay. she always has nicely styled hair and she works out. All right. But she doesn't wear a dress. Ellen's probably actually a four. I was uh, thinking six. That. No, she's, she's like on a the four. manly scale. No, nah, she wears she a makeup. Wear a dress or high you heels. would never mistake her for a dude. She's kind of in the middle. No, okay, she's not a good middle. This is complicated. <laughs> we have such a diverse community. All right, who's the and five? Our scale is our scale <clears throat> is not inclusive of other races, which is the same criticism that the L word has. So. Well, name two black lesbians. It's hard to think of any. Audrey Lord. It's hard to think of two white famous <laughs> lesbians. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure that if you gave me a minute to think about it, I can name like five black well, lesbians yeah. who are famous. If you gave famous. me a second on Google, we'll come up with a hundred. But okay, so what do we your say? What's fucking point? Zero's Portia. Ten is John Goodman with a vagina. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I would say that you, Elka, are a 9.5. No. Oh, you <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Fucking twat. No, you're um a 4. <gasps> what? I thought I was a 3. Well, whatever, 3, 4. It's pretty close guess. And that's probably Have accurate. Have you seen like, how many whatever, pairs of shoes I own? Whatever number you say, I'm going to say one higher. Whatever number you... I say you're going to what? Say one lower. I think I should be closer to zero just by sheer number of shoes. All right, fine. What's your number, Miss Nine? <laughs> you think I'm a nine? I do now that you said I'm a four. Oh, I think I'm a six. Okay, you are nowhere near a six. You think I'm closer to John Goodman than the middle? Well, for one thing, I've known you for a long time. I've never seen you wear a dress yes you have i wore a dress to dinner with your friend and her out of town friend fuck off that was a skirt okay you just lost a point for not knowing the difference between a dress <laughs> and a skirt you do have many very femme qualities uh one of them is that you have this like incredibly shiny hair that's not a feminine quality yes it is your hair is like someone from a commercial it's <laughs> Her hair is like, shine, shine, shine. You're like a Pantene commercial on. I do have good yeah. hair. You do have nice hands. Um, another thing that's very feminine about you is that when you see a spider, you lose your mind. <laughs> Kill it! Oh, my God! And that's she true. always makes me get rid of bugs that are in the house. And I'm always <clears> like, <throat> oh, look at it. It's cool. Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, get it out of here. <laughs> that's very feminine. Yeah. Um, and you're I'm good with children. Yeah, I like children. You're cute. You're you're not what anyone would describe as a handsome woman. You're definitely <laughs> cute. Handsome. That's gross. I don't know why I felt the need for that. I it's just weird. Like we do this podcast, nobody knows what the hell we look like because you won't let us put our pictures up. Oh, you lying <laughs> sack of potatoes. <laughs> but you're you're more feminine than me. It depends. We definitely each have you have Qualities some very male sides. characteristics, though. Yeah. But most, I mean, they're easily hidden by your feminine wiles. <laughs> I like to dress like a girl and fuck like a man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that should be under your avatar. <laughs> oh. So this you're not Tito's, a pillow queen. This Tito's is pretty good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, you missed your chance to find out, didn't You've you? You've completely blanked the slate now. What do you mean? <laughs> my my brain has just been wiped clean with imagery. I'm sorry. Did I intrude on your attempts to prove that you're femier than people think you are? No, I'm not femier. I'm I'm not a femme at all. Like I don't even remember. But you're not butch at all. No, I'm like not on the butch. femme butch scale, you're a perfect five. I'm like You're a right three. in the middle, like, well, but you know how to fix things. Oh, I, I was just going by appearances. I have a lot of male qualities other than appearance-wise. Not that many. I know how to fix shit. You're confident <laughs> in yourself. You know how to fix things. And I like to fist bite. Pow, pow. You like to fist what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hate fighting in any form. Unless it's Parker Posey kicking my ass all over town. I well, do have a question, though. Am I ever going to get to choose the hottie of the week, or yeah. is this an exclusive Casey thing? No, we'll do, you can do it next week. Even though I'm bi? 
Whatever. So this a hottie's a hottie. 20. You can pick a boy if you want, but well, you, you want exactly. to gross everybody out. Oh, I'm sure there are plenty of bi and straight women and gay boys that also visit the forum. Well, do what you want for those three people, but the other 5,000 are going to be pissed at you. <laughs> so the hottie of next week is going to be Adrian Brody. Well, don't say, you I'm- pussifier. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot in here, isn't it? What are you, Indian now? Isn't it? <laughs> it's hot in here. It's hot in here, isn't it? Oh, shit. That should be on our movie list. We should do a top 10 movie list. Yeah, let's do a top 10 instead of pretending we're going to review films and then not. We'll just recommend them. Let's just, yeah, we'll post on our forum <clears throat> our top 10 favorite movies, which for the most part coincide, not completely. Right. There are definitely some films that I like that she does not appreciate the genius and vice of. And vice versa. So yeah, we'll we'll post our top ten movie lists on the forum, and if you haven't visited the forum yet, you're a pussy, a and big, not in a good way, wet, dripping, mustard flavored. Ew! <laughs> Where do you come up with this stuff? The Planet's web forum can be found at theplanetcast.proboards106.com, and it is just an online community where we can chat about whatever we feel like talking about. You can talk to us. You can talk to each other. It's good. It fucking rocks. I like it. It's I so spend much- at least 15, 20 seconds on their day. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much better than even my grandest dreams for it. So I'm just, I'm being serious. I'm incredibly pleased and awed. Okay. So you want to copy J Meg? Well, I was listening to the J Meg podcast today at work, and they played word association. And it actually, I thought it was kind of funny. So I emailed them and asked them to make a list for us to play word association with. All right. But that could be... All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. Because this is what we do when the L word's not on. We're fucking desperate people. We need more L word. Or else we're reduced to talking about cartoons of cats with poop flying out of their ass. (laughs) It's like dripping out. Look at it. Look at the distance. No, turn it over. Okay. I can't. I already (laughs) studied it (laughs) today. Oh, my God. I love this woman already. I haven't (laughs) even met her. All right. So um, let me open the list. Who's going first? I'll read first, I guess, since I'm opening it. All right. You ready? I'm ready. (laughs) I thought there were going to be more... um, Perverted words on here. Now I'm looking at this. Okay. Pizza. Sausage. Suction. Cup. Flip-flops. Thongs. French. Kiss. This is obviously supposed to be mine. Toes. Chubby. Tabasco. Yum. Rectal. Polyp. (laughs) (laughs) Fleshy. Neruda. Yarn. Story. Worms. (laughs) <laughs> what was that look you gave me? <laughs> Your foot was right in my face. <laughs> Sorry. Worms. Uh, work. Pussy willow. Cereal mom. Belly button. Lint. Juicy. Sex. Cup. Bra. Simpson. Yellow. Oh, cock and balls. Me. <laughs> Your cock and balls. Okay, that's no, it. No, I'm the only one that says that. No, dumb. but you know what? When I was in Australia, I went to this restaurant called the Cock and Bull. <laughs> and I was not with people who would appreciate the humor of a place called Cock and Bull. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Wait. Monkey. Monkey. It's the first word that comes to your head. You just blurt it out. Oh, can you explain the rules to this game again? Well, Who wins? Play it. How does someone win or I've lose? I've already won, so just... Uh, balls. Monkey balls? You're not allowed to ask me questions. Come on. Is that... They have that at a restaurant, don't they? It's a game. A restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Crabs. <clears throat> Sushi. Fuzz. Peach. Xbox. 360. PlayStation 3. Nuh-uh. It fucking says that. Hate. Answer. Uh, <laughs> Pop I hate, rocks. Hate, hate PlayStation. Pop rocks. <laughs> Perverted. Why? <laughs> you can't ask me questions in the middle of this. 
Is that really on there? Yeah. Okay. Why are Pop Rocks preferred? <laughs> Let's finish it and then you can ask anything you want. Nipple. Cup. Tang. Astronaut. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised you said that because I hear you use the word tang quite <laughs> often. Cinema. Love. Rectal. Ugh, thermometer? <laughs> Pommel horse. Hors d'oeuvres. What? Okay. <laughs> Dirty socks. Elka. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> Secretion. White. Ew! <laughs> Possum. Ohio. Jelly. Elaine. <laughs> Bush. Ugh. Bush? Bush? They fucking put Bush. Capitalized or not? Capitalized. Motherfucker. <laughs> Fondle. Cheese. All right. That wraps up word association <laughs> round one. So how do you think that went? Uh, I don't know. Obviously, it doesn't make sense to anybody but yourself. <laughs> I love games like that. I love <clears throat> stupid games. And I Didn't you ever do the pop rocks thing? What is you the know pop you rocks did. thing? You I s- know a thing with cough drops, but I don't know what you're talking about with pop rocks. <laughs> well, obviously use your imagination. It's something that, No, like, tell me. It's just a sex thing that young people do. <laughs> obviously, like, pop rocks react to moisture. Um, I've heard it t- told that young people sometimes put that candy that explodes when it comes into contact with moisture onto moist areas of their body. And then what happens? I've never done it. How do you know about this? I Because I've heard this before. From who? I've really never done that. I have had some food experiences, but not with pot raw. <laughs> Sicko. Oh, like shot. App. I know. It's like pot meat kettle. <laughs> Everyone has had something. <laughs> Usually, if you use common sense, <laughs> like and not use sticky things or whatever, then it's okay. But uh, man, people are weird. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about right now, but I'm starting to get a little uncomfortable with this conversation. Shut up. You know what I'm talking about. What? Are you acting dumb on purpose? Okay, so let's move on, fruit roll up. <laughs> That's what edible underwear are made out of, by the I way. Know. Lewis, please don't growl. Oh, that <laughs> you gonna reason it with worked. it? <laughs> Lewis, think about what you're doing and just take a nap. Oh, what was I gonna say? Well, so J C and D C thing other- about games. By the way, if you don't know what we're talking about, a lot of the Planet listeners have started doing their own podcast. Hey, no! If you don't know about this, you need to visit our forum and find links because there are some really funny, awesome people out there casting. It's not just me and Casey anymore. No, but it is everybody else whose name is ending in C. Like Megan C? No, JC! And <laughs> and slogan X C X slogan ecstasy. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So, well, you mm-hmm. sometimes I've noticed like we don't talk to each other or anything before we cast, but sometimes just random topics come up. Yeah. Like one week I mentioned Mad Purple Mad Dog twenty twenty. Oh. And the same day, J C mm-hmm. and D C mentioned Mad Dog twenty twenty. Yeah. And I also noticed that some of the other casters simultaneously, but I think unintentionally, were talking about games you play when you have insomnia or and you and your when you're naked are trying to Masturbate. do something to fall asleep. I know what you're talking and about. And so now. some people said they play the alphabet game, which I love the alphabet game, but my girlfriend will never play it with me. Lame. I think I've only played this thing like once or twice. And the only time I can actually remember was on a way to, um, well, this is kind of embarrassing, but on the way to a rave back in the day, <laughs> we played a game where you had to try to think of um, things that would get you high <laughs> or intoxicated, but mostly high at the alphabet game. Oh, my God. So you are like, we did the alphabet game with Latin phrases. And I did <laughs> 
mind altering substances. What was B? I don't remember any I of bet it. I remember said banana peels. I remember peyote because at the time I I didn't know anything about it other than it was an Indian word. I mean Native American word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was like peyote. What's that? Anyway, you know what's weird about peyote? Mm-hmm. Dogs fucking love to eat peyote. Like if you're walking your dog out in the desert and you find some peyote, your dog will just eat it. They don't get high. They just think it tastes good. Hmm. <laughs> what? That's not a... Anyway, so there was the alphabet game and then some people were saying that they would like sing little songs to each other and you had to guess the name of the song. And it made me think about that time that you and I went on that long camping trip. Casey and I... After we left Kent, we went on this month and a half long road trip where we camped in the tent pretty much every night. We stayed in a hotel like about three nights out of a month and a half. But so, you know, spending a month and a half uh, sleeping in a tent together was kind of intimate. And there were times. (laughs) Intimate? Well, I mean, just, you know, we're sleeping together often, so to speak. Mm. And I remember you and I had little games that we would play when we couldn't sleep. Do you remember the game that we play? Yes. So the game that Casey and I play when Was we can't sleep is called... Strip poker. Oh, the other game? Oh. Without the poker. What would you put in a pool? Yeah, fill the pool, it's called. <laughs> it wasn't a game. But it, it was a game You're in the You're misusing the word of, game. In the sense of word association or the alphabet game, this is also a game in that mm-hmm. sense. So the game of fill the pool... All you do is think of bizarre things that you would like to... If you won the lottery and you were so bored and you were like, I'm going to fill my pool with blank just because... Well, at first it starts out not being bizarre, but like if I had a zillion dollars, I would fill a swimming pool with chocolate pudding and just swim in pudding because I love chocolate. <laughs> but then like if you can't sleep and you go back and forth and it goes on for a while and there are many substances with which one could fill a pool like donkey urine and i really every time i think that we've exhausted all the possibilities (laughs) of this game one of my favorites is um leaves you could do a pool of green leaves and then you could do a pool of crisp autumn leaves oh that would be fun and you could just jump in because yeah, but the crisp autumn leaves, you just sink to the bottom of it. Well, no, maybe not. I guess they would compress. But um, Well, it'd be like jumping in a big pile of leaves like yeah. people on the East Coast get to do. That was fun. I missed that. Now yeah. we just get to jump in a pile of cactus spines. <laughs> you don't have to jump in them. You just be walking down the street. If it's a windy day, you might get one stabbed in your eye. Especially me. Okay, so what's your? what would you put in a pool? Obviously, we've named 10 million things that we'd put in we a pool. We have taken this game so far to just a brink of sanity and back that I can't even, I don't even think that I can play it Why anymore. are you bringing it up then? I just want to bring it up because I love the game and I wanted to share it with our listeners so that they too, if they have insomnia, mm-hmm. may play fill the pool. Worms. I'd like to Ew. fill it with worms. Not maggots, but Worms. Rubbing alcohol. Ew. God damn, you sicko. (laughs) (laughs) Obviously, like, feathers. That'd be nice. Dildos. Tadpoles. (laughs) Ew. (laughs) Cat hair. We probably could go to a swimming pool with cat hair. Chewed up gum, would it be all mushed together, or would it be in little distinct balls? (laughs) Or cat hair. Only if you, like, you're getting up on the diving board, but before you do it, you completely shower in baby oil and you jump in. Ew! You'd get out of it. You'd look like a giant dandelion. <laughs> Live kittens. Aww. I would love that pool. The dog is like, what the fuck? <laughs> he was scared. <sighs> to jump into a pool Toothpaste. of my shattered dreams. Oh. <laughs> Toothpaste. Women that I've would used. actually be pleasant. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay, so we're not going to play fill the pool. Dirty underwear. But I just wanted to add art. Okay, please stop. I can't. (laughs) You've infected me with the what would you fill a pool with game. Well, once I started thinking about... Broken glass. When we played fill the pool. False teeth. It also reminded me that each of us from time to time, if we're not sleeping tranquilly... Lima beans. May tend to talk in our sleep. Um, you don't... Actually, you did. 
So, okay, when, <laughs> when I, Elka, when I talk in my sleep, what sorts of things did I say? I, how would I know? I don't sleep with your eyes. I'm saying, you just said you remember something right. I said. You were like sound asleep. And you said, <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> no mushrooms or something. And I'm like, oh my God. I hate mushrooms. But anyway, I don't know why you were talking about that. When I'm talking in my sleep, I talk about mushrooms. So now I will tell the story of when Casey talked in her sleep. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> we were camping. So we're in the tent. Casey's asleep. All of a sudden, clear as day, she's like, Michael Landon. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, I just said Michael Landon, not with any emotional. There's nothing else. <laughs> it wasn't part of a <laughs> It wasn't part of a sentence. Okay. Well, you wait. You weren't distressed or th- you were just laying there. <laughs> Let me explain. She's really sleeping. And then out of nowhere, Michael Landon. Please <laughs> allow me to explain Please this. explain because there is no. <laughs> you know the explanation, sort of. <laughs> well, first of all, my explanation of this is <laughs> that I'm secretly in love with Mr. Ingalls. No. <laughs> Apparently, my life Aww. has been kind of affected by Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> In my dreams, my mother figure is... Actually, this is the most popular mother figure that people have in their dreams. and It's the most popular dreamt about woman by, by women, like supposedly because it represents a mother figure, but... Martha Stewart is my mother in my dreams. Always the most comforting dreams. She's always talking to me in her soothing voice. But not anything like my actual mother now. I was going to think say, about it. That's but anyway. ironic because your actual mother is so much entirely unlike Martha Stewart. <laughs> this is true. And my father figure has been uh, Michael Landon. So when you have dreams and you have parents in the dreams... Mm-hmm. Your dad is always Michael Landon. Did you watch Little House on the Prairie? Yes. He loved his children equally. (laughs) He loved his daughters. And he was such a nice, sweet guy with his little stories about character and whatever. (laughs) Yeah, he's my father figure in my dreams. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed. Um, Is this like Pa father figure or is it like Stairway to Heaven? Or Highway oh, to Heaven. No, or whatever it's Little it House on the Prairie. Yeah, it's him from Little House on the Prairie transported to now. Well, not now, to Mother <laughs> Day. And you think somehow that this is normal and acceptable for you yeah. to have frequent and recurring dreams about <laughs> Michael Landon? I wouldn't say frequent. <laughs> 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 well, I think it's weird that I would say Michael Landon. I know. It, out loud. <laughs> Maybe I was surprised to see him. It's like, oh my God, Michael Landon, what the hell are you doing on this boat? Like, and at that moment, I'm like in a tent in the middle of nowhere. And I'm like, this is pure comic gold. <laughs> I think I woke up. I woke you up because I was laughing so hard. Yeah, because you're all like, what the fuck? You're talking about Michael Landon. I was like, he's and my first, dad. At first you tried to deny it. <laughs> and I was like, no, there's nothing that rhymes with Michael Landon <laughs> that I could have mistaken this Maybe for. I said Tina Brandon. <laughs> oh, that's better somehow. And no. then finally you admitted that you had been dreaming about him. <laughs> Well, it is kind of embarrassing. Yes, it should be. It's fucking ridiculous. Well, it's not that weird. God. Did I ever tell you who the father figure in my Bill dreams Clinton? is? Yeah, Bill Clinton. I was guessing. That's weird. And you well, must have told me. My dad has white hair. Your dad doesn't look anything like Bill well, Clinton. Well, since, since you've met my dad, he looks like uh, W.C. Fields, but... Before you met him, like when I was a kid, he did kind of look like Bill Clinton. It was either Bill Clinton or Steve Martin would be my dad in my dreams. I never had dreams about my mother. They, and they have similar cigar stories to share. I wish you were joking. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Is that it? That's all I got. Hey, we didn't do um any of our polls or whatever. We're going to do the polls next time. We're just we're going really long right now. Okay. I don't want to 
bore your little ears off. I know your train ride is probably over by now. Adios, amigas. <laughs> Lewis, that was his way. Lewis, do you have something to say? <laughs> All right. Adios, amigas. Say your sign off. Woof. Neither one of us could complete a sentence because you had to clear your throat so Well, I was it has wasted. To do with drinking. Well, it, well, supposedly alcohol dries you out, so. But most lesbians get wet with alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. Alcohol. They're coming to us, lesbians. I think I'm blaming the cats because I think the cat, like, Locked you blame on. the cats for everything. The cats stole my car.